Hello Virgos and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do a quick love reading for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it is not your story, my lovelies, it is simply, simply not your story. Please, please, please don't force it. Take what resonates, leave the rest for who it was meant to reach. Um, cross watchers, you are very welcome here. However, I do not know how to sugarcoat. So that's so strange. There's something that is not completely to an end here. Um, take everything I say with a big grain of salt. And again, only take what resonates with you. I get super specific here on this channel sometimes. And sometimes it's not always what you want to hear. So let's see what we got going on these two came out like this very strange i am using there's a lot in limbo right now between you and a person my loves all right if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel i would greatly greatly appreciate it loves i have the 25 dollar mini energy spread very similar to this if you want to book go ahead and shoot me an email virgoterroempress at gmail.com i also have all my stuff on sale for the last month of the year my baby buddha candles my tree of life my money spray which smells amazing and i have my protection candles which were actually blessed by my shamans in peru so um all my candles everything they're going to be on sale go ahead and check them out Virgos, this is you. And this is your person. Why do I feel like I want to talk to a cross watcher or this is cross watcher? I feel like this is your cross watcher, my lovelies. For some reason, there's a cross watcher here. This is you. This is your person. This is a mutual, most likely outcome or what's to come. But I also feel cross watcher is watching for you, Virgo. They want to see how you are feeling because I feel that they're over here. They're only here for this energy. All right. I just heard I hate her. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, loves. Y'all y'all know what y'all are going through, not me. So let's see what we got going on. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Page of Cups, and the World in Reverse. More Sag energy. I just figured out it is possibly a Sag that is watching you, my loves. Perhaps that's who it is. Because y'all Virgos have been having Sagittarius energy for so many weeks already. Someone's upset. I'm getting strong. Somebody's like upset. <laughs> Somebody's upset watching this. And I just like want to like wave hi. There's something strange. Like someone's saying, does she, does she do brujeria? Does she do witchcraft? Do they do witchcraft? Do they... I don't know. Is someone scared of you, Virgo? <laughs> I can't help but laugh. I feel like somebody's watching, but they're not watching for the reading. They're watching for you or something like that. There's some very strange energy, but they're also a little bit scared or nervy about you. <laughs> All right, my loves. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Page of Cups, the world horizontally. There's something in a limbo. There's something at a standstill when it comes to that world energy. Oh, that's so weird. I just heard, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? I want to say Brianna. I want to say Stephanie. I want to say Courtney. And I want to say Christine. that's what i'm getting i don't know i'm getting strong somebody's mad somebody is like barking mad right now i feel strong my loves that you are in an energy of feeling very fulfilled with yourself all right everything might be going wrong in life or with obstacles but you're not letting it break your spirit Okay, this Ten of Pentacles is here. The Ten of Pentacles is long-term longevity. It's funds coming in, happiness coming in, feeling stable, feeling wealthy, even if you are not. You know, like just, I'm just hanging out, trying to stay positive. I do think that you are getting a lot of suitors or a lot of interest in you, my loves. Almost like you're in a, I'm seeing somebody in a theater, like center stage, you know? There's some, I, I almost said director loves. Ooh, 
I almost said director, Virgos. There is someone with a major, major role of importance in a certain field, all right? It doesn't have to be director, film, things like that, but there's somebody very high up in their career or in their field level. I have the chills so bad, and they have their eye on you. They like you. Ooh, and I just got a whiff of something. I got a whiff of like something cherry. <laughs> I'm here. I'm hearing someone say she's so cherry or he's so cherry. Like it's just like it's the cherry on top. Like somebody likes you. Somebody likes the way you are. Like your looks are just a plus, but they like you. Like it's like they like who you are. They like your aura. They like your energy. The fact that you look good, Virgo, is just the cherry on top is what I'm getting. You have the eye of someone very high up. That's all, that's all it's showing me. There's a lot of people who have interest in you and who want to start something very long term with you. They want something serious. I do see you're going either going to be dating or going to be... If you're already in a relationship, my loves, this is like the relationship really solidifying and really celebrating that and living that to the fullest with whoever you're with. If you are currently dating, my loves, you're going to be going on a lot of dates. I do see there's a lot of people trying to take you out, wine and dine, fancy dinners, fine life. I'm even seeing like tattoos, like like matching tattoos. Like they're like <laughs> like pretty much like brand me, you know? There is something about you really your self confidence lately is really glowing. It's really radiant. Ooh, did y'all hear? Like for some reason I almost whistled. Like the way I was breathing the way I was breathing <laughs> made me whistle a little bit. Like just like the few few, you know? Um People want your attention. People think you look really, really good right now. Even if you haven't changed anything up. This page of cups here, I do see that you may feel that. You may see that as well. I feel like you're getting back out there, my loves. You're getting back out there. And with this world horizontally, you're ready to see where things go. You're not exactly ready to move forward with something but you're not saying no either. But for some of you that are already in a relationship, I feel strongly like there is still some unfinished business. Even if you're not in a relationship, there is something that has not closed out. But I think it's it's nearly there. It's nearly closed up. And this could be wounds from the past. This could be you taking your time and healing from a past relationship. But I think you're ready for new. You're ready for I'm hearing culture, you're ready for travel, you're ready for something different. And some of you might be going outside your typical type that you date or giving different people chances to get to know you. But y'all be careful. I've been seeing some horror stories on TikTok. <laughs> um, just be wary, you know, but I do see that there are new adventures in dating. I'm seeing like the adventures of babysitting that movie, but I'm I'm saying like in dating, like there's a lot of stuff coming for you, but there still is something that needs to be closed out completely before like a big, big change occurs. Okay. In your energy, my loves, you have, in your other person's energy, I'm sorry, you have the queen of swords in reverse, knight of cups in reverse, the tower, more Sag energy. And the strength, Leo energy. I just heard, baby, what do you do? Ooh, baby, what do you do? I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting strong flattery. Like, I'm getting strong lust vibes, but also strong flattery. And I'm hearing that song. Ooh, you know, the old 90s song. What is it? color me bad is it color me bad i wanna mm, you up <laughs> what song is that i don't know if i can say that on youtube but with the queen of swords and the knight of cups and the tower oh that's why i want to say hi hater 
someone hasn't gotten over you, Virgo, and if they're dealing with someone, their person, I feel, is who's watching this. This is like the third party watching readings on you to see what's going on. They feel like there's someone who hasn't gotten over you. For sure. They want to make sure you don't still want somebody or something like that. All right? That's why it's like, I feel like this is like someone checking on you just to make sure you really moved on. Ooh. And it's a very bitter, scornful person, okay? With this queen of swords in reverse, this is somebody who's angry. This is someone who's bitter. This is someone who's... I'm getting they play a part. They play a part like, oh, I'm so sweet and I don't care and I'm not jealous. But no, yeah, they're bitter. They're angry. They talk bad about you. They cuss you out. They curse at you. You know what I mean? They're, they don't they they don't have good energy towards you. Ooh, I'm also getting like a like a screeching noise, like a creak creak creak, like when you get a fork on a knife, like a, a fork or a knife, and go like this on a oh I can't even do it on a plate. My teeth are so sensitive when I even think about it. You you give them like a bitter taste in their mouth, my loves, when they hear your name, or that's. If your ears are ringing, my loves, this person's probably talking about you. But yeah, they they see red when they hear your name <laughs> for some reason. Oh, literally. Um, yeah, this is someone who does not fancy you at all, Virgos. But I don't think it's like someone that you're in a love interest with. I think it's someone you had a love interest with. It's their new person or someone connected to them for some reason. All right. And with the Knight of Cups here in reverse, they want to just ensure that you don't have feelings for this person or you're not trying to get back or win them over or get their attention or something. I'm getting strong Pisces energy as well um, and Sag energy. And I feel strongly, my loves, what I'm getting is like they're realizing you really don't care about whoever this is or whatever this is and you're not starting problems. I'm hearing Nicole and I'm hearing Nicolette. Um... they're realizing you really don't care and i'm getting strong that they're starting to realize whoever you're connected to that's connected to this person it's them that's their tower moment their sag moment they're realizing you don't care about who this person is this person is the one that still cares about you could be like There's something about a mother and a child or a father and a child, like a parent and a child. So it could definitely be, again, mother, father of your children or something like that. Um, or their mother, their the, the mother or father of their children or something like that. I'm getting also someone, like they tried their best to sabotage it or to keep this apart. And they're realizing like, no matter what, they're just caught in the crossfire. No matter what I do, like, I can't keep this person from wanting Virgo. No matter what I do, this person is the one that wants Virgo. It's not Virgo who is being weird. It's this person. <laughs> I'm getting strong. I, I wanted to say Zeus energy. I wanted to say Capricorn energy. I'm seeing the letter J. And I'm hearing, ooh, like somebody slipped up and did something. Somebody is in trouble, you know? And with the strength card here, Leo energy, I'm hearing the name Jeremy. Jeremy, and I'm hearing, I don't know if this is the last name, but I'm hearing Biggins or Wiggins. Um, with Leo the strength this is when you have the strength card my loves it can sometimes mean holding back it can means that you're holding back it can means that you are quite literally being strong and just moving on and i think that's what they're seeing is that this lion is very well tamed when it comes to you 
but you're not trying to train any more animals. And they're realizing you were strong and moved on. It's this person who can't get over you, who can't stop thinking about you. They're, they've been thinking it's you this entire time. Maybe somebody put that in their mind that, you know, Virgo doesn't leave me alone. Virgo wants to be with me. And someone is finally seeing and realizing and coming to terms with. No, this person can't leave Virgo alone. Virgo's out here being handsome, beautiful, pretty, abundant, dating. And in the mutual energy, you have the four of pentacles horizontally and the lovers horizontally. Gemini energy. I, I wanted to say Ariana. I just wanted to say Ariana. Um, the bridges the bridges of Madison County and the seagull. I do feel strong, like, because they came out horizontally, someone, I don't think this is you, Virgo. I don't think this is you. I don't think that this is your energy at all. I think this is your past person that you were dealing with and whoever is watching for them. The Four of Pentacles horizontally means you have not necessarily let go of something, but you're not holding it too tight either. This person does not know what to do. There's still some hope that this could work, which is why they're holding on to it still. But they also know it's not necessarily going to go their way, which is why they haven't fully let go. They still have this hope here of this lovers, of a reuniting, of coming together, of a love prospering between you and this person. And the person they may be dealing with is kind of like seeing that. They're like, well, this person that was dealing with Virgo still hopes and prays that something might work out that this lovers and this four of pentacles can come back together and there could be something so close and so tight and so dreamy. But where does that leave this person, I feel? Like this person's like, where does that leave me? This is what Virgo's person wants from them. And Virgo, I don't see you anywhere over here, over here. I see you just, that's why this is horizontally. There's still something or someone wishing that this cycle comes back in full and y'all can be together and end up together underneath the deck oh I got the weird I got the weirdest noise in my headset right now um it's like I feel like my ears I keep hearing that creak 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 like the fork and the knife like I really feel like someone's talking about you at this moment seven of oh, seven of swords in reverse <laughs> deception deception being um, outed in a sense. Eleanor Shaw, the Manchurian Candidate. I think I remember watching a preview of this movie. It's about something political, right? Like you're playing chess. Like someone's like still trying to play chess with you, my loves, and you're not playing no games. They're trying to figure out your next move and you're not even playing with them. Seven of Swords, deception, lying, sneaky, trickster energy coming out to be appeared, my loves. This is a cross watcher or someone connected to your cross watcher that is watching this for you, okay? They're watching you. That's what this is. It was just clear as day energy. I feel strongly like they're still right here in my hand. <laughs> The high priestess, yeah, there. This is another party, Scorpio energy. This is not you or your person, Virgo. This is, I, I want to say, the other woman or the other man. This is necessary. This isn't necessarily someone who doesn't speak their mind or someone who's valuable or witchy. This can also be the other woman, the mistress or the Sancho or the Sancha. You know, the other man, the other woman. This is secrets. Someone wants to keep it a secret that they keep a very, very, very close eye on you, my loves. And you don't even talk to this person. <laughs> Eight of Wands, you don't even talk to this person. I'm getting some of you don't even know this person. But it makes them feel better for some reason. It like makes, they have hella 
neglect and abandonment wounds for some reason and I don't know why it kind of either feeds it to make it worse but they think it makes them feel better it, but it doesn't it really hurts their feelings even more especially with this magician in reverse it's like they want to get on here and see that you're struggling or doing bad or not doing as good as them or like not you know just bitter petty petty immature energy childish energy and when they get on and see that you're dazzling and you're sparkling and you're twinkling and you're abundant and you're happy that's when they're like oh crap <laughs> oh crap and that's when they start to lose that self-love self-worth and they start comparing their lives to yours look at that it's very strange energy they they're in some weird weird one-sided secret competition my loves and you're not you're not even playing the johnson sisters what is this movie about a prairie home companion i i'm getting like it's like completely different people like you are one type of way and this person is the absolute complete opposite and that's why they're in this weird competition that you know nothing about six of wands and they're they're not destined to win whatever this is you always you never you always you never this person has a secret vendetta like a really weird heinous vendetta against you and you're just chilling yeah like it's just so weird you don't even pay no mind i don't even think you know about this meanwhile you like stay on this person's mind all the time and the empress bitterness a bitter mother bitter woman bitter father bitter grandfather this empress is taurus energy they're even comparing like your homes it's a very very ugly energy my loves if this message is resonating let me know in the comments below because i don't know i see you happy my lovelies I won't be able to handle knowing you're with someone else yep someone is knowing that you're dating or catching attention know your worth don't settle for less than what you deserve god i feel bad for this person because they have something wrong internally with them there's something wrong with the way they feel about them you know like they're playing standby to someone or something like that or they're 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 standing by like everything they do determines on what you're doing what you're about to do or something like that like they don't have self-love whoever this is i can't stop looking at your picture crazy please forgive me i'm genuinely sorry Ooh. Ooh, maybe they caught their person watching you or looking you up or looking at your pictures or social media or calling or texting you or something somebody got caught doing something that's the realization here that <laughs> that they know they're not over you my goodness my lovelies let me see underneath the i'm sorry the uh ooh, that was a crazy little jump oh there's like a jumping of timelines even here give me some spirit animal cards please that's look at how they're jumping my hands are even cramping look at how they're jumping let's see the delicate fairy and her ferrets change is natural good and yes it can hurt um yeah someone's trying to hold on to their rodent or somebody's trying to hold on to someone's again they're not letting what wants to leave leave have y'all ever had a ferret i've had three in my life and they like to hide in the dresser drawers and the cajons. Like, they like to run. They like to hide. And someone is like, no, you are mine and you're here and you don't look at Virgo. You don't want Virgo. I'm getting a weird taste in my mouth, my lovely. It's like a penny, like real copper, bitter, like just gross. Um, 
hedgehog love underneath the deck positive uplifting new friends i do think that you are going to be meeting new people my lovelies that is what i have for you i hope this helps i hope it resonates again i have the 25 dollars minis i am sending you lots of love light peace clarity may peace always surround you i love you all so much and i will talk to you soon